up, devils? J Dog back to answer some more goddamn questions. <clears throat> got two paid scaroonies. Got kind of a third. Man, Tommy Becker. Man, he's my new fucking homeboy. He's done the most paid scaroonies. He doesn't even fuck around. He just says, I ain't fucking around with no 10. Dog's so cool. He just sends over 20 every time. So he's got one here at the top, and he just sent me another uh, one today. Uh, but it's a third. I got two in front, so I may get to it, but I didn't even print it out because I'm here at my home office, as you can see. But, um, it's more of a kind of a comedy. So, I know he's asking the question. So, from Tommy Bake Becker, um, orders all the goddamn time, too. All the time, too. A true goddamn fanatical. Not these fucking ass posers. Cas casual fucking listeners. Hey, bra, bra. Thanks for the answers. I had a couple, I had a couple such as Spider and Satanic Warmaster. Bear with his goddamn writing. I don't think he proofs fucking shit. I think he just types away and it's sad. <laughs> Me, I always proof shit because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I have to. <laughs> but I ordered the Unlord albums. Mm -hmm. Can't go along with those Unlords. If you like black metal, that's the man black metal, not the puss black metal. And yes, it sends Graveland home on a stretcher. Some people are coming in like that. that's where the tough shit is, is Graveland. I'm like, not from what I remember, but to their defense... I don't want to bang up on them too much because they have too, they do have a shitload of albums. They at least fit the bill image wise. I do like how they have that kind of whole medieval times thing going on look because it's got, that's kind of their shtick and they've always stuck with it. But all I've listened to was that seven inch Blood of Heroes like twenty years ago, and I I, I was like this is horrible, and I never listened to anything since. But people are like, oh, you got to check out. I think they said Thousand Swords. So maybe they since they have so many releases, it's possible that they have some good albums. For example, I'm not a huge, like, Nocturnal Mortem fan, but they definitely have songs I like. There's no doubt about it. I put their albums on. It's just, it's 50-50. It's, it's like, you know, it's weird. Did you guys ever have this? Like, I had this as a kid. I think my brothers did, too. I could be wrong. I never asked them. I kind of got brought up without being brought up, if that makes sense. But I think we all had a similar stance. And it's like, <laughs> I don't even know why. It's fucking weird. It's like. If there was, like, one shitty song on the album, you thought the band sucked. It's like, you're allowed to like, like, some of the songs and not like some of the songs. Or by or by default, you had to, like, almost say if you liked the band. I liked every song. Every song's not as not to be good. Like, for example, like, uh, The New Cannibal. I thought there was a couple filler songs on there. I didn't think any songs sucked. I thought off the kill album, Priest of Sodom. I didn't love it. I was like, yeah, I don't like how the, the vocal tones, Corpse Grinder was thrown in there. Didn't love that song. From Skin to Liquid. Eerie instrumental, but eh, didn't jam, in my goddamn opinion. Um, so it's like, you don't have to like every goddamn song. And if you're not a huge fanatical of the band, it's just, I don't know, like, my mindset is, I think that's part of the reason why the personality I do and, and uh, you know, bash and the posers and shit like that is because it's like, ever since I even collected comic books as a little kid, it's, it was 100% all in. 666% do or fucking die, or I'm not even going to fucking try. That's how I was with metal. That's how I jumped into goddamn bodybuilding. I mean, at this, as the side for uh, the bodybuilding hobby, when I got into it, after the first five years where I kind of started to learn and kind of like decided I liked it, the next few years after that, three, four years, I mean, I pushed everything. I My goal was on the side, I wanted to become a pro, pro body, at least a pro bodybuilder for Zeke, whether I comp competed or not. I'd be like, if I get to that level and that size, I was like, then I would compete. I never did. And then you find out a lot of it's fucking genetic and you're like, ah, shit. So that, that was a failed goddamn experiment. But I gave it my all. So it was, it was all in. Metal was the same. I've kind of like, in, the, in my older years, it's like, Jesus, fuck, dude. You don't have to do that. You can like some stuff. It's like, you know, you put on Nocturnal Mortal. I'm like, some of these songs are good. But then some of them like, eh, I don't really like it. Um, who's another black metal band? Specifically black metal. I had a couple good songs. I'm like, really like this song. Um, but some others I didn't. Um, oh, Blind Guardian, when Craig played them for me. Uh, I'm curious to see them at Milwaukee Metal Fest. I wouldn't even mind getting an interview with that. Because uh, I don't know much. Of, I'm, not a, I'm not a Blind Guardian fanatical. I like some of their songs. I thought that song Mirror Mirror was good. Craig played me some others. But some of the songs I didn't like. I'm like, eh, kind of nothing there. I was like, it just kind of sounds like a Halloween ripoff to me. Um, but with nothing but weaker songs. But I haven't heard much. So it's like lightened up. It's like, dude, you're allowed to like some song. You don't have to like every song by them. And if you don't like every song by them, it doesn't mean they suck. It just means you're not a diehard fan. You like some songs by them. So that's very possible that Graven would get in that category too. But Unlord, 
those three bang and extreme black metal albums, hmm, like whether I like some Graveland or not, there ain't no way it's beating those goddamn unlords. Where the fuck did I leave off on this goddamn guy that can barely fucking type shit? And a couple shirts waiting on my two Tish Horrible shirts. Mm -hmm. Tish, even ordered some Tish shirts. Get your goddamn Tish J Dog logo. Draw by uh, your boy, Kramer. Kramer Antichrist drew it. Came up with the slogan on the back. That wasn't Dog praising himself up like, man, this guy thinks very highly of himself. I didn't put that phrase on it. He came up with that. It's kind of like one of those things, you know, you don't give yourself no name. The name J Dog, I didn't give myself that name, just so you fucking know. Other people gave me that name. So I just stuck with it. Uh, also, have you ever heard King Horse? This is his question. Have you heard King Horse produced by Danzig? I have not. I heard them years and years ago on a skate video. Skate video? What's a skate video? They only have one album, but I have always dug them, and recently I finally found a near mint copy. But anyway, who? thanks for the info and the laughs. Keep killing it. I guess I'll keep eyes peeled. King Horse. What do you guys think of that? Shout out to King Horse. It was produced by Glenn Danzig. I didn't know Glenn Danzig produced shit. What a fucking dumbass. This guy calls himself a diehard. He calls himself a goddamn diehard death, death metal. This goddamn clubber laying, clubber laying of death metal over here, motherfucker. Never said I knew everything about goddamn Danzig. My Danzig fanatical things, as I love everything by the Misfits, especially all the Danzig shit. The Danzig shit is the best, but I do like American Psycho, Famous Monsters, etc. Even like that 1950s cover album. Devil's Reign. <laughs> that was again. <laughs> Didn't like every song, but I do like most of the songs. But it's got a couple turds on there, for sure. But it's got Land of the Dead, Twilight of the Dead. Those are good songs. Um. Dude, but that Danzig side project shit. Oh, my. P U. That first album I do like. Dude, that, that song Mother, though, that's hanging out with goddamn war pigs. Do I even need to hear it? I hear it in my gym all the time. It's just canoe central likes it. But it is a good song. As long with war pigs, it is a good song. It's just like, Jesus, fuck. Do I need to put that on over fucking cataleptic rapture by goddamn fucking uh, the, the almighty hemorrhage? Put that banger on. Get to know that every goddamn day. Brush your teeth for that, just like the dog does every goddamn morning. Um, but, uh, Danzig, that first album, but the twist of Kane was, that's a good song for sure too. That's a little overdone too, but I really do like that song. However, not to be that guy and no, I didn't, wasn't there back in the day. No, I don't have the actual cassette tape. I, yes, I heard. No, actually I have a bootleg. <laughs> I actually have a bootleg seven inch of it. <laughs> um, the demo version's better. You can find it on YouTube too. Beyond, b b believe it or not. I like that song so much. I don't know. It kind of gets me in the mood. That's one of the songs I actually spin at the gym from time to time. Not every gym session. People ask me, what, do you, what tunes do you listen to? The, the demo version, Twisted Cane. I don't know. I really like it. I think it's way better than the studio album version. But I do have a bootleg 7-inch uh, of that. Um, dude, outside that, the rest of that, oh my God, fuck me dead. Those 90s albums, again, haven't heard most of it. I have heard some of it, though. What is there? Uh, fucking uh, Garden of Snakes or... Something snakes and Ooh, we I remember that being fucking bad. Just bad 90s cock rock. Park it next to fucking sound garden, stone temple pilots, homo as hell smashing pumpkins. It was for that fucking fan base, bra bra. Dude, I got full disclosure. I would take Pantera all day, every day, twice on Sunday. Over that crappy ass later Danzig shit. So having said that, when I see produced by Danzig, that wasn't calling the dog at all. And not to mention, I hear that guy's a canoe and a half. Uh, would you interview him, dog? Of course I'd interview him. He's a goddamn fucking legend. I'm just saying, I heard he's a fucking jerk. Um, there's that video he gets knocked out from for calling people out. I've heard other stories. People met him, said he was a dick. Uh, I have one guy, I forget who it was that told me. He told me he met Danzig and he asked for a photo with, um, he's like, that'll be 25 bucks or 50 bucks or something like a price. Like what? Like, dude, like, I don't even think Arnold Schwarzenegger would say some canoe ass shit like that. Probably have to get past Arnold's bodyguards and shit like that. It'd be hard to get a photo with him. But if you did get with him, like if you, if you got past the bodyguards and he's sitting in Denny's and you asked him for a photo, I don't even think Arnold would say something like that. He's a, Arnold's a fucking lot more famous than fucking Danzig is. I mean, I don't care however fucking like the, the, the mini fame I get from this channel, which is no fame. It's just people just know who I am. That's not fame by any stretch of the fucking definition. It's just people in the metal scene tend to know who I am. But let's just say I became famous for something else because it would never be from this crappy ass channel. 
I would never fucking do that shit. I, I ne never, ever. I would never let that crap go to my head. Anything like I, you asked me for a photo. Fuck yeah, you can take a photo. That's your fans, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, I think how disappointing that was. I mean, none of the guys. <sighs> Glenn Benton didn't say that. Corpse Grinder didn't say that to me on first metal. I mean, I, I don't think uh, have I have I ever met anyone that said that. I heard Lou Ferrigno's like that too. I have heard that. Again, I'm not saying this is true about Danzig or Ferrigno or any of these guys. That's just what I was told. So Danzig, Danzig ain't watching my shit. But uh, in case he fucking was to and see it, um, not my goddamn story. Story I fucking heard. I'm just telling goddamn it's a good fucking goddamn content for the channel. And uh, what's the story? Uh, I thought it was kind of a cool story. I thought I read an interview. The song London Dungeon, which I think is a fantastic song. Uh, he wrote that in, uh, he was, did some jail time. Tell me about, correct me if I'm wrong in this story. I read this somewhere. London Dungeon, Misfit Song. I think it's a great fucking song. And so I, the story I heard that Danzig wrote that in jail when he was in uh, jail over, I guess, United Kingdom or England or, you know, whatever. Over there, some one of those United Kingdom, Scotland, one of those goddamn uh, countries. Somebody clarify me. That's what the United Kingdom is. All those, uh, <laughs> I legitimately did. It's, it's England, Great Britain, Ireland, those combined. All right, it makes sense. My dumb ass didn't fucking know. Now I know. Uh, one of those, he got in a bar fight. Again, dude, only douches get in bar fights, man. I, I mean, I, I, I'm i not a bar guy by any stretch, but, you know, Lindsay and I, especially when we're early on dating and, you know, every now and again, uh, you know, we go out to eat and have, a, ha, you know, sit at the bar, have some drinks, some drinks there, a patio, some smokes, drinks and smokes. You know, those are always, those always good, go, go good together, you know, for a night out, you know, just a night out, hanging out. I've never been even close to in a fight, man. Drinking, it's technically a bar scenario at every show I'm at. There's a bar at every goddamn show, so that's technically a bar. Granted, that's not why I'm there, but I'm there having drinks, right? I've never been in a fight. So anybody that gets in bar fights, you're a fucking hoodoo. You better have a goddamn good reason. I mean, the only way I would start a fight at a bar, you could say anything to me. Insult me all you want. Hey, Dumbo. Hey, balding ass fucking Hulkamania. Goddamn fucking jerk. Fucking, what do they call me? Gay dog. Whatever they want to call me. I, I would care less. I would never start a fucking fight. The only way is if somebody was like to, to, like to assault Lindsay or something. Then, yeah. Then the dog's going to throw down. That'd be like the only fucking way. These fucking, yeah, dude, that's, that's Pantera crowd. Fat ball game fucking attenders. Starting fights. That's dick shit, man. That, a real metalist doesn't start a goddamn fight. Most, most metalized blood gets along with other metalized blood. Don't let me start no fights. So Danzig, that's another reason why maybe he's, maybe he's not the biggest jerk, but I have heard stories and that bar story got in a bar fight and then went to jail and um, wherever, London. Well, yeah, London, <laughs> London Dungeon, right? So London, England, went to jail over there and uh, wrote the song in jail. However long he was in there, I don't know, a month, six months through, I don't know. That's that story I heard. He wrote that in jail, London Dungeon. Thought that was kind of a cool story. But again, man, that stuck in my mind too. I was like, what is he going over in a fucking UK? At what point are you in a foreign country and you're starting fights, man? Like, what, what possible reason could you have needed that you need to start a fight and be like, well, he was drunk? I got to be completely honest with you. Any of you people that, if you're a mean drunk, when you, when you, when you if you're drinking your few beers and you get mean and you want to start fights and arguments and shit, I want you nowhere near my ass. That is literally one of my most hated. Human beings on the face of this earth is anybody that's this mean, drunk, tough guy, fucking let's start fights, let's argue, let's bring up the past and bitch about shit. That is my number one pet peeve. Can't stand your ass, wants you nowhere fucking near me whatsoever. I avoid your ass like the plague. That's worse than somebody bringing up politics or that POSJC to me. That is worse than that. The drunken bar douche. Next goddamn guy, Ricky Thomas. Man, fuck. Mm -hmm. Sent 20 USD as well. My kind of homeboys. What's up, J-Dog? Draghar of Halloween here. Who? I want to make a statement before I ask my question. Go right the fuck ahead, brah, brah. I fucking love Hell's Headbangers. I have been ordering from a lot for a long time. Mm -hmm. My kind of devil, goddammit. I know I didn't write this shit up either. This is all him. I, I just literally copy and paste. This was in the PayPal payment. Uh, you received 20 USD from Ricky Thomas. And I just copy and paste. <clears throat> paste it in here. Print it out. Here's my goddamn questions for the day. Fuck. I'm from Cincinnati. Woo-wee. I've been to Cincinnati once. Four-hour haul for the dog. And goddamn, the location I was at was shithole central. Looked like a goddamn war broke out there. Fucking Rambo style. 
I always try to order from you all first since you are not too far away. Dude, I, glad to hear it, God damn it. And that's not so untrue. The story I'm going to say is not so true nowadays. I remember me, Easy E, and C Dog, aka Chasing Boy, for who's C Dog, who's Chasing Boy. So it's two guys, same fucking guy, god damn it. It's got two goddamn code names. J Dog is J Dog and Dumbo. That's what his two goddamn, uh, <laughs> maybe Meathead too. Depends who you ask. Back in the uh, Hell's early stages, I'm not going to mention any fucking <laughs> names at all, but if. Sea Dog and Easy E see this. I think they'll, they'll 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 have memories. I think they'll might think of different people. But I remember like when Hell's was, you know, we were still small, but officially started. And there's guys in the even in the Cleveland scene, but the state of Ohio clearly know who the fuck we are. Clearly, like one hundred percent aware of who we are to the extent, in some occasions, had our fucking phone number. Buy metal, bro. All about buying metal. I buy metal every week. I get my paycheck. I pay my bills. I put a little bit in the savings account like a responsible grown man, and the rest goes to goddamn metal. Cool, bra bra. Years in, distros building up, distros building up. Never once ever order from Hells, ever. And we were, none of us were ever offended or like, oh man, why don't they order from us? We're the kings. It was never that. It was just like, we were always like, white, they keep, they, these guys, there's three people I could think of. Off the top of my head, they say how much metal they buy. Why wouldn't they order some of the items they bands that we know they like? We get in stock. Why wouldn't you buy it from us when A, you know us, B, you could technically pick it up and not pay C shipping. C, if you did have it shipped with the cheap ass media mail shipping, you're gonna have it in one or two days. Because we put ourselves, we like did the math for ourselves. Like, remember when we were buying from uh, blackmetal.com, nuclear blast. Relapse Records, because those are primarily the places American Chase would order a lot of our merch from. Blackmail.com was from California. You had to wait a week. That means more manhandling, longer to wait. And the more manhandling, longer to wait, more likely your ship become damaged. It's like, why would you order from California or overseas even when you got somebody down the street that you fucking know has it? It was just weird. And I remember we would joke around all the time. This is officially when I think all three of us were even full time. We would laugh like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, we'd look at the locations. Like, he's like, we get more. And this this was legitimately true. We would get more orders on a regular basis from the country Australia than the state of Ohio. We'd be like, look at all these fucking Ohio imposers. We're right in their backyard. We got customers like Anthony and Rocky, the brothers over there, longtime customers of ours. Uh, they still order to this day every once in a while. Uh, not as much as they used to, uh, but they, they did. Ooh, I've seen an order come from a month, month or so ago. We use them as an example. Like, dude, Anthony and Rocky, they, they fucking literally order from a, across the goddamn globe. They'd be, they'd be like thinking, what kind of douche in Ohio is taking this fucking gold mine for granted? I don't know. Shit's right in the backyard. They don't. Now, don't be wrong. We do get a, a orders from Ohio now and in the last probably even 10 years, but for sure five years. Every single day. I mean, I don't think there's ever a day we don't get an order from Ohio. So it's it's much, much better now. People caught on. But for the first 10 years, it was we would laugh about that. It's like all these Ohio guys, like right in their backyards. People in California order from us every day. New York. And like I said, the, our biggest country back then is probably the bit most ordered from country is probably always Germany. That seems like it's the land of metal over there. Um, it's the vibe I get. Never been there. I could be completely wrong. But that's the vibe I get. Based on the goddamn orders, based on the stories I hear, based on fear my fucking fest. Um... But Australia was way the fuck up there, too. So, just kind of fucking funny. Where the fuck they leave off on this, goddammit? Uh, Cincinnati, and I always try to order from you all first. Since you are not too far away. Mm -hmm. Common sense. Do the same thing back then. And you and you pack all the orders with care. And I appreciate that there's that. that. So, here, here's my little tip after all those years. Appreciate that. Bra, bra. T dog loves tips. T tips, tits, and asses with dogs and do, goddammit. Plus, after dealing with years of living in Ohio with all the other canoes, a lot of canoes here in the fucking land. I want to support some real metalheads in my state. Mm -hmm. Second, have you ever heard of a death metal band from Sweden called Maze of Torment? Oh, I did pre-read this. Did I ever hear Maze of Torment, bra bra? Actually, to be honest with you, you just fucking inspired me. I'm going to re, re goddamn spin it. Here's what I own by Maze of Torment, and I also own a, I'm almost positive, a 7-inch. Full disclosure, though, I haven't listened to Maze of Torment in years. 
years. It's one of those things. I got more metal than you know, brah, brah. I remember being sweetest black and death metal. How's my ain't? Again, years to hurt it, but I liked it, bought it. I own this. Finally see Death Strike picture disc. Dropless Records. Got this, I don't know, 20 years ago. I mean, not 20. Well, 15 to 20 years ago, goddammit. The CD of it, which I'm going to listen to on the way to uh, going to see Immolation tonight. You know if Dog got fucking uh, DP'd in the ass, two dicks at the same time, for those that need a guy to explain what DP is. Two dicks, straight in that asshole, at once, Scotty Pippen, Shaquille O'Neal. Two of those dicks ran right the dog's asshole if tonight he comes home and there's no goddamn Bob Vigna of Immolation Review, goddammit. He was confirmed. I emailed Ross Dolan. He said he'd do it. So if dog don't get it, you know he got reamed. Hoping to get Alex, too. Talk some goddamn gore-phobia old days shit. Talk about that almighty goddamn Orbitius pathology. One of the greatest goddamn death metal demos that smokes everything on Maggot Stomp and goddamn 20 bucks bin. Picture this coming out of Hell's Head Bangers, I think in 2024, goddamn, 2025 place. I think it's 2024 schedule. Look the fuck out. Set up by the goddamn dog. Alex plays on opening interview. We'll fucking see. Be spinning this, be spinning this on the way to the show, though. Another band I got the same time, I think I just own one LP, is Serpent Obscene. Same time frame. Um, Merciless Records, I believe. This isn't some of this on Merciless. This is on the crowd. I thought Merciless did something. Serpent Obscene and another one, actually, and I talked to, uh, I've thrown out there to Chasey Boy and Eazy-E like two or three years ago. Chasey Boy's like, yeah, you got a contact, which I don't. So in case anybody sees this, he knows. Same time I've heard these, the, the uh, Maze of Torment, Serpent of Scenes, right around the same time as when I got the shit, is the band In Aeternum. Don't even know if I'm pronouncing the goddamn band, that band name right, but it's In Space, A-E-T-E-R-N-U-M, In Aeternum. That album they have, Forever Blasphemy, I fucking love that goddamn record. It's like that black and death metal, similar to, you know, kind of like Dissection. Um, there are other albums, Nuclear Arm, again, and stuff. I thought it was okay. But that Forever Blasphemy was fucking great. Uh, I have the LP of it and CD. Um, actually, I might not even have a CD. LP for sure. LP and I think Picture Disc. I'd have to relook. But it's a great record, and it's been long, long out of print. I would like Hells to uh, put that out. Uh, repress of an LP and a CD. So, in eternal guys, if you know that, I, I, but I, I have a feeling it's going to be Merciless Records owns it. Well, fucking figure that goddamn shit out. Hell's is goddamn interesting. Contact the dog. Emails in the goddamn description box or service at hellsheadbangers.com. It's not complicated. Spell it right as, as it sounds. Word service at hellsheadbangers.com. Don't email me stupid shit either. That was for in eternal, not fucking dumb, dumb shit. Um, that was another band that I heard around the same time, but I love that record. Love, love for Hell's to do it. And this is the other thing I own by Maze of Torment Faster Disaster. And like I said, I own a seven inch two from the goddamn closet, buried A to Z under the fucking literally. I think I own, I have 20 or 22 boxes, seven inch boxes this long, this big, packed to the brim with goddamn seven inch fucking wax. Uh, Amazing Torment, seven inch in there. Well, so wasn't digging that out, so I own four things by them. So, of course, the dog knows Amazing Torment, goddamn it. Now, I am not going to lie, I can't fucking uh, air guitar it and I got to get rid of spin, but hey, I bought it, owned it, paid it, it wasn't given to me, don't know the guys. Uh, uh, Sweden death metal band from Sweden called Maze of Torment. Yep, yep, yep. They did a handful of albums. Yep. Yeah, I know they have a couple other things I'm sure that I don't have, so I by no means have everything, but, you know, I got some stuff. Liked it. But most but most never made it past a CD release. Showed you a picture. This Brad Brad, you know about that one? Would be cool to have their stuff on LP, especially their album Hammers of Mayhem. I don't even own Hammers of Mayhem. I, I, maybe I've heard it. I don't know, but yeah. Maybe, yeah. Sounds like, uh, not only that, Hammers of Mayhem, that doesn't even sound too familiar. I don't even know if Hell's even had it. So, yeah, probably does need a pressing. Love the YouTube channel and keep on posting. P.S. Some of the, my CDs are in stock. Some of my CDs are in stock. Oh, oh I think for his band, uh, uh, howl, Howling is Howling. Like howl, like a wolf howling. Howl, like H-O-W-L-I-N-I-N-G. So give it a give it a fucking uh, check out. Now, I know there's a couple Howlings. Is that the same one that... uh. I doubt it's the same one. You're from Cincinnati, Ohio, but I think it's close. There's Billy uh, from Razorback and his, um, Billy, what the fuck? You gonna email me about these goddamn Lord Gores? What the fuck's going on? Oh, not Lord Gore. Uh, Frightmare. Yeah, and also, Gurge, what the fuck? You gonna email me about those Lord Gore LPs? Gurge, email me, goddammit. Billy Razorback, Frightmare, need files. I made you the offer. You said yes. Well, 
Wolf Rightmare Dog. You need a refresher, goddammit? Both albums on vinyl. Hell's Headbangers, goddammit. Need files. Um, but Howling, wasn't Billy in there and his wife in that? That was a band, Howling. It's pretty good stuff. Um, is that the one you're talking about? If not, there's another one, goddammit. So it's the aesthetics of rock, ultra depravity by Howling. Yeah, I know the one was like animal something or, yeah, so it's probably different Howling. At Hell's for all the black metal. Oh, we have it in stock. <laughs> like again, the J-Dog doesn't know the different 50,000 50, titles in stock, god damn it, off the top of his fucking head. So why, yeah, damn racist shit and stuff like that. What the fuck do you think? You think I sit there and police all this fucking shit? Fuck no. We, it's Hellmark, god damn it. If it's metal, not tweet core, real metal, we stock it, god damn it. They can, they can check into that if they're interested. And thanks for answering my question. So yeah, Black Metal Tough Guys, check out the goddamn Black Metal Band, Howling. Supposedly, Hell's Headbangers had in stock. His word's not mine, so if you check the site, it's not on there. This guy's full of shit. Hey, I didn't say it. I don't fucking know. And, uh, yeah, he's from Cincinnati. Digs metal. Likes Maze of Torment. Orders from Hell's. So he's a real goddamn metalist. Fanatical. Not a fucking casual listener. And he has a band. Hell, maybe I should even goddamn check it out. At least it's a goddamn real metalist from fucking uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, but, I mean, uh, if you wanted a review of his band, it's going to be an honest review. I don't, I don't just, it's again, it's not $20 goddamn blowjobs. So, you know. If I remember, I'll goddamn put on the player. Comes with surgical review, but I'm about to get in the morning later, goddamn it.